Also breaking today, St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell is no longer running for U.S. Senate. Instead, he'll challenge Congresswoman Cori Bush for her seat in the House. Thanks for being here at noon. I'm Kay Quinn. Bell became the county's first black prosecuting attorney in 2018. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, is live outside the Congresswoman's office in downtown St. Louis with more on Bell's announcement. Mark? Okay, good afternoon. Wesley Bell's surprise launch jumping into this race certainly appears to have caught Congresswoman Cori Bush's campaign off guard. And what a matchup it will be sure to draw national media attention. The prosecutor versus the activist, both of them forging their pathways to power in the aftermath of the uprising in Ferguson after the death of Michael Brown there. Uh, in the aftermath, though, they took different approaches. Wesley Bell calling for compromise and greater funding to enhance police uh, resources and law enforcement resources. She campaigned instead as an agitator activist, calling later to defund the police. Bell went on offense during his campaign launch today, saying that Democrats should support President Biden, support his infrastructure agenda, and support our Democratic allies, Ukraine and Israel. The growing calls that I got, and honestly, even before I got in the race, were you should consider this race because this district needs it. And as I got around the state and, and even in D.C., um, that those, those calls grew louder and louder. Um, and, with having, and with the fact of having can, uh, viable candidates in the U.S. Senate race, I felt that we needed that steady, leader, steady and effective leadership right here in the district. Anything else about why he's dropping out of the Senate race? Well, you heard him there suggest that Democratic Party establishment leaders, donors and the like basically urged him to. He's leaning into that, saying that uh, it's the party that wants Cori Bush out. But there's also the strategic advantage of waiting until now. Opening uh, that Senate campaign, filing the paperwork there, allowed him to tap into some federal campaign money, maybe deeper pockets available, and then has this sort of sneak attack, the element of surprise. Uh, the Cori Bush campaign, again, didn't see this coming. We'll have a lot more tonight at 4, 5, and 6 on this uh, big development in the 2024 House race. Uh, live downtown, Mark Maxwell, 5 on your side. All right, thank you.